Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Culinary Outfitters, where ChefWorks teams up with culinary professionals, dressing them in our fashion-forward apparel that matches their needs in the kitchen and syncs with their personal style. My name is Marisol Nostrosa with the product development team. Welcome back. For those of you just joining us, you should know that ChefWorks is constantly innovating to design the best performing chef gear, and we do that by talking to you. We combine your wants and needs and turn them into your favorite go-to designs. Let's get to know our guest, Chef Judd Canapari. He graduated from Johnson & Wales and also holds a degree from the University of Colorado Boulder. He has held many executive chef positions across the hospitality industry in prestigious properties such as La Valencia Hotel and the Rancho Bernardo Inn. He is passionate about sustainable strategies and coaching people to success. I have nothing to prove but uh, being a, you know, a, a good father and husband and that makes me a great chef because that passion for those things comes out in my food. My name is Judd Kanapari. Uh, I'm an executive chef here in Southern California. I've been an executive chef for 30 plus years. I've produced uh, Michelin star chefs out of my kitchens. It's my turn to uh, see if I can acquire one of those uh, elusive stars at my next venture, so. We'll see. All chefs have, uh, I guess, uh, their, their representation of themselves in ink. Mine is a double-headed dragon, and it's the, uh, the two sides of my personality. Can you see that? It's got a little fire coming out. The wing goes onto the back, and then the, the cross with my children's initials on my chest, right over my heart. That's where I keep my children while I take over the world. <laughs> the evolution of products in, in the culinary world has, uh, has grown substantially. ChefWorks being one of the first companies, I believe, that actually started listening to the chef. The vented back, that was revolutionary. The vented back that ChefWorks came up with, giving you some stretchy and some, uh, some circulation. Well, when it comes to an apron, I like uh, versatility, durability. Nothing worse than, you know, if you get a stain on it or whatever and you try to wash it out, it just never comes out or if the strings pop off. I like the fact that the seams are, you know, double stitched, if that's what you call it. That's what I look for in an apron. Welcome, Chef Judd Canapari. Hi, how are you? I'm great, how are you today? Fantastic, thank you. Welcome to Culinary Outfitters. Thank you so much for being with us today. My pleasure. So Judd, based on what we know about you, I've selected three bistro apron styles to try on today. These three styles may seem simple at first, but there's way more to them that meets the eye. They are the heart and soul of the culinary industry, but they're loved from everybody from culinary students to the most experienced of chefs. Um, the first one we're gonna try on you today is our reversible bistro apron. Mm. But first, we're gonna go to Amanda Stuckey, our VP of Marketing, who's gonna tell us all about it and its features. Hey everybody, Amanda Stuckey here with ChefWorks. I'm here to talk to you about our core aprons. So the first apron we're going to talk about is the reversible F24 Bistro apron. It has a 65-35 poly cotton blend. It's reversible, obviously by the name. It has three pocket divisions on each side, plus there's one of the sides that actually has an extra pencil divide for any extra pencils that you may have. And the last fact about that is it does have 27 inch long length, right? So it's a good long one. These aprons are durable. Of course, they contain our double needle stitching and reinforced stitching to make sure that they last long, they wash great, and they last forever. And that is our ChefWorks reversible F24 Bistro apron. Back over to you, Marisol. All right, Judd, let's try on our first apron. I'm excited. Here's the reversible Bistro apron. There you mm. go. I like the looks of that. All right, so our reversible bistro apron is a 65% polyester, 35% cotton blend. It's reversible because if you notice, we have pockets on both sides. So mm -hmm. there is a main pocket with three divisions on both sides. And on one of the sides, we actually have an extra pen division right here. Yeah, I like the strap, it's nice and sturdy. I like the pockets, nice and deep. That's one thing that you don't, you don't appreciate when the pockets aren't 
you know, deep enough, you don't want things falling out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's nice for your pens or your uh, thermometer. Absolutely, so this is about 27 inches long to give you a lot of coverage. Let's see here, let's flip it around. I like that, look at that, the pockets are still nice, same, same situation. Oh, and I like this here. I noticed that right away. It has the logo on both sides. That's nice. Absolutely. Nice little detail. Our Chef Works Fork logo lets you know it's a quality item. Well, you know, sometimes it, 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 in service when you're busy and you, you soil the, the front, you flip it over and then it kind of looks inside out. It's kind of uh, unattractive if you're out in the dining room. Absolutely. But this uh, just makes it even better. The seam is really, really nice. I like it. I yes. like the pockets um, a lot. I like this too. It's nice and sturdy. Yes, and it's so all one piece, eh? Yes, so the tie is actually one continuous piece of fabric that goes all across the apron. Yeah, nice detail. It's not going to slide out when, when you're washing it or whatnot. So, yeah, Absolutely. I like that one a lot. And in between each division, we have reinforced uh, bar tags there to huh. make sure that um, it they don't separate that stress point. Yeah, you know, a lot of wear and tear goes into all of this. So that extra detail on the seams and on the hem lines and whatnot is really important. Yeah. It's a great apron. Love it. Great, I'm glad you love it. We do have two more for you to try ah, on. So yeah. the next one is going to be our four-way apron. And we're gonna go to Amanda again, who's gonna tell us all about our four-way apron. Hi everybody, Amanda Stuckey here, here to talk to you about the B4, which is a four-way half bistro apron, and the B4LG, which is a four-way bistro apron. Now. Both of these aprons are very similar. They have the similar features. So that is a 65-35 poly cotton blend. They have no pockets, which is on purpose. There are two lengths. So the B4, which is the half bistro, comes in at 16 inches long, right? So about right here. And then the B4LG is a traditional bistro length, which is 33 inches long, which kind of comes down to about right here, okay? So these can be flipped over and reversed anytime you need them. So in the famous words of Missy Elliott, without doing her injustice, I could put my thing down, flip it and reverse it. This is a great apron to easily change. If you have a spill or a mess, right? You flip it, tie it, you're good to go. Keep on your day. So these are two different aprons, four ways. The B4 is the half bistro and the B4LG is our traditional bistro apron length. Back to you, Marisol. Okay, Judd, let's try on our four-way apron. Our next one, huh? Yes. All right, let's see. I like the, I like it already. Okay, so. I like it already. Our four-way apron, just like the last bistro you tried on, is also a 65% polyester, 35% cotton blend. Mm -hmm. Now, it looks like a simple bistro apron. However, this one It can looks actually... like it has a little feature here. What's this all about? So this. Oh yeah, look at that. Is actually double in size. Wow. And um, because you can flip it over. Right. <laughs> Let's get this angle here. Oh, look at that. All right. Yeah, just in case, you know, you can't, uh, you've definitely got plenty of uh, uh, tapestry to uh, be creative with here. Yes, and if you catch a spill, you can flip it over, you right? can turn it around and look totally presentable again. I dig it. And you know what? This is very classic French, I, I can tell you that. You know, this is very much a classic French look. Chefs in Europe love the extra length on the, on the, uh, the bibs because of the, they have really nice pants. <laughs> yes. Right? And of course, I don't want to get my nice sneakers dirty, so this would be good. It'd catch a lot of splashes on that. You know, it actually feels nice, you know? Uh, and I also want to mention, Judd, uh, this uh, length is about 33 inches long. Mm. It does also come in a shorter length, which is on the mannequin behind us here. That ah. one's a half bistro uh, length, about 16 inches long. <laughs> I kind of like this one. I, I, the, the, the short length is good. Uh, you know, maybe uh, a little less de uh, detail or utility use. Right. This is really good because of the length and it keeps uh, everything nice and clean. Splashes, you know, they, they go everywhere. Absolutely. Yeah, I like well, that a lot. I'm so excited you love this one. Mm -hmm. We do have one more for you to try on. All right, all the right. The last one for today is going to be our tapered apron. And once again, Amanda is going to tell us all about our tapered aprons. Hi everybody, Amanda Stuckey here with ChefWorks. I'm here to talk to you about our tapered chef aprons. So there are two. There is the BPTA, which is the black version, and the PCTA, which is the white version. So depending on what works with your um, outfit, you've got two choices to choose from. Now, they're both built 
and designed the exact same way. So 6535 polycotton blend. It actually has a front flap, but you can flip it down and you can tie it around so it gives it additional coverage and you can also tuck your ties underneath it too if you really want a seamless look. The flap is also commonly used as an additional location to add personalization. So we've seen people put logos on their hips on that flap too, which is kind of cool. Um, it has an angled pocket. It has a looped towel holder. It's about 31 and a half inches long and about 39 inches wide across the top, but 22 inches wide on the bottom. So that's where that tapered format comes from. So that's the tapered Chef Works Chef's Apron the BPTA, which is our black version, and the PCTA, which is the white version. Back to you, Marisol. Okay, Judd, our last apron for today is our tapered apron. All right, let's check it out. Here you go. So this is also a 65% polyester, 35% cotton blend. Mm -hmm. If you notice, it is wider at the top than it is at the bottom. Yeah, it looks tapered. And you have this flap over oh, wow, piece of that. fabric here, which is about four inches in width, um, to provide a little extra coverage here in the front if you get near a hot stove. And what's this little doohickey here? So that is a towel loop. Ah. I'll show you here, you can actually. Here, let's put this bad boy on. Let's see how this looks. I like the way it feels. I kind of, I'm digging the, the curved pocket. That's a nice little detail, eh? Yes, it's a planted pocket. Nice and very deep. roomy. Same kind of uh, versatility in the in the uh, strap. The strap is nice and you know sometimes they make those straps out of like nylon and and they break and you yeah. have to knot them up and you end up with knots all over the place. But that looks great. Exactly, the tie and is that's the same fantastic. fabric as the main uh, apron. Let's put that baby in here. It's like my six shooter. Look there at that. Go. And I do want to mention you tied your tie in front, which I, did. I see a lot of chefs do. Um, I, that extra flap of fabric, some chefs oh. may want to hide oh, I see. Look that. Look at that. You tuck it right exactly. under. Exactly. You tuck it under. Wow. And you're not going to have to worry about that coming undone through your entire shift. Right? They called this pinning back in the day. Remember we used to pin our pants? Well, that looks great on you. Right? Now we got to see if we can get it off. There we go. Perfect. Bib holder. There you go to that. Fantastic. I, I like that one a lot. Well, Judd, after trying on the three aprons we tried on today, yes, which do you think is your favorite and why? Well, let me see. It's going to be a tough choice. I like them all. I think they all have, uh, you know, different purposes, different times and places in the kitchen. Realistically, I, I would take a, a spattering of aprons and, and, and use them in different uh, spaces and time. Of course. But for me, you know, I, I really gravitate towards the French classic plenty of room to uh, be creative with regards to your spilling. Exactly. I just really like this. It's, it's fresh, it's classic, and uh, that's just kind of my style. I'm a little old school, but I kind of like that one a lot. Well, good news, Judd. You get to take this home with you today. Oh, come on, no. This is our four-way apron, and there you go. Oh my God, <laughs> look at that. Fantastic. Let's put it on. I'm Make... sure you're going to get so much use out of that. Right? It's going to last through so many washes. Can I ask you, Judd, do you normally wash your aprons at home or do you send them over to a laundering facility? Well, you know, uh, I try to take as good a care of my aprons as humanly possible, so I like to take care of it all myself. I think it's great that you do wash your aprons at home because you have total control over the temperature, what detergent you use, exactly, all of that. Um, I do want to mention that this apron will withstand many washes. Um, it's tried, tested and true. We do recommend that if you are, if you do catch a spill and if you are going to add some bleach to this, um, mm. you can, it's white. Right. However, we do recommend non-chlorine bleach. And uh, pro tip, it's better to spot treat rather than put the entire apron in that non-chlorine bleach because it can eat away at the fibers. Got it, got it, fantastic. <laughs> no, I love it. Thank you so much, I appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely, I hope you get lots and lots of use out of it and enjoy wearing the apron. I'm sure everybody out there will enjoy it as well. To everybody at home watching, thank you so much for being with us today. I'd love to know which apron today was your favorite and why. Please like and comment and tell us what you think. To everybody at Table 1807, we'll see you on the next episode of Culinary Outfitters. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chef. My pleasure. <laughs>